so we're trying to si simulate and show you what the experience would be in your home if you had one of these connections, because at this point we don't have any connection, uh, homes connected, but we're getting close. The first part of this is going to be about the stuff you're going to see outside. And if everything works right, there's not really much left to see when this is done because everything's buried. Abdul talked about this being the underground part of the project, and that's absolutely true. Uh, if you go on uh, Wright Street during the week, you'll see the guys putting in these big conduits in the ground. These are about an inch and a quarter around, and they pull the cable through the conduit, and these come in really long rolls, and they bury these in the right of way. And these hook to manholes and handholes. I'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, and then there's the neighborhood cabinet uh, that goes to there, and that's where all the electronics go that make this all work. All right, what's a handhold? Well, you've heard of manholes, but you probably haven't heard of handholds. A handhold is just a small manhole. Uh, you can put your hand, this is actually one of them here, you can put your hand in this, but you obviously I couldn't get all the way in. Now, we could put babies in handholds, but I got in trouble the other night for advocating that, so I won't talk about putting babies in handholds, but a baby would fit in this handhold, but that's about it. This is actually the little fiber connector that goes into the handhold, and this is what the wires get connected to. This would come up from underneath, and so when they go to hook up your service, they need to take off the lid, hook you up, put the lid back on, and you're set. This gets buried all the way up to this line here, as you see in the photo. So when it's done, all you have is this little 5 by 15 thing sitting out in front of your house. Now where do those go? Those go in the public right-of-way, the area at your home that's between the driveway and the street, or excuse me, between the sidewalk and the street, is called the public right-of-way. It actually belongs to the city. Uh, you may mow the grass every week, and you may cut the trees and take care of the trees, but that's actually the city's property. You're just taking care of it for them. So this is going in the city right-of-way. And if you look on the diagram here, the, uh, this is a satellite map, but all these blue lines across here, are these, I guess that's turquoise, uh, that's where the conduits go, and these square things here, these are the handholds. Now let's pay close attention to these two lots here. This is the 1400 block of Beach Street in Urbana, where they were doing construction last week. It's a good thing it bounces. Uh, that's what it looks like from above. And you can see that basically there's going to be one handhold on the lot line between these two. Uh, so this house and this house will both connect back to this handhold. Obviously, we're going to have to go underneath their driveway and underneath this driveway to get to the house, but there's equipment that can do that. That's what it looks like from the satellite. That's what it looks like from out in front of the house. They were in the process of putting this in last week when we made the photo. Uh, hopefully, this area here has all been filled in with dirt by now. So that's essentially one handhold per lot. We're going by around 46, 4,700 homes, so we're going to be putting in several thousand of these handholds in order to service those if we're only doing one for every two. Uh, I talked about neighborhood cabinets. This is kind of a mock-up of what the neighborhood cabinet looks like. It's about this tall, maybe about this wide. Uh, it's designed so you can see over it, and it's not going to be an impediment to traffic. And the public works departments of both cities have been very careful in terms of where we locate these so they're not going to create an eyesore, they're not going to cause traffic accidents or anything like that. The first phase of construction is really getting all that stuff in the ground, the handholds, the cabinets, the, the conduits. Um, and once that's there, then we're kind of ready to move on to the next stage.